in this video we're going to focus on one of the viewers questions we're going to answer this question how to shorten long data labels on the y-axis in chart yes this is a great question i had one before related to the x-axis which was slightly different to this but let's explore so first of all let's go back here and i want to show you where this question came from this was one of my other videos where i talk about how to create a stack bar chart with data sets on top of each other with multiple colors depending on certain values and in here i have a question from h1z1 hero so a special thank you to h1z1 for asking this and this is what was asked hi sir can you please help me i have a very big data label on the y-axis like 200,000, 400,000, 600,000. How can I convert them to 200k, 400k and 600k? Please help sir. Alright, so this is quite easy to do but you just need to understand how to do it and you need to use a certain function in here. So let's start an explorer to do this. So the first thing what I want to do here is I want to create a basic bar chart here. So I'm just going to get the default settings in here. I'm going to grab all of this, copy that, put it in here I'll give this some proper indentation. All right, remove all of this excess here. And then what I want to do here is I want to get the JavaScript library for chart.js. There we are. Get this one, the CDN, and make sure that this is always above the chunk of code here because this is dependent on whatever is in here. So I've removed here also the size of the width and I want to make a new class. And this class will be called the chart box because it's a basically box chart maybe we will put the chart in here and the reason i'm doing this is i want to give this a fixed height a fixed width not a height but a fixed width so i say here in the style tag i'm going to make here a class called chart box and in here we will say the width will be 700 pixels the reason i'm doing this is to avoid that this chart will scale into infinity all right once we save this, go back here, refresh, there we are. So now we have this here. So let's start to look at this question specifically, or well, before we look at that, well, let's look at the numbers we have to put on the y-axis. As you can see here, 200K, 400K, 600K. All right, so what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to give this some huge numbers. So we say 200K, I'm going to just copy that. I will make this one 400K, 600, 800 this will be 1 million and this will be 1 million and 2 all right so this will be 1 million this one will be 8 6 4 and 2 all right if i save this now go back here and refresh we have now these large data so you can see here we have all of this and this is exactly what we need so what we're going to do now is because right now these labels are being automatically created including the commas what I want to do first is we need to here basically work with this to understand what we're working with or what this term is called. I'm going to show you here. Basically, we're going to axis and here on the axis, we're going to deal with the Cartesian axis. Why the Cartesian axis? Well, the Cartesian axis is basically this. It has a number here and it has the category at the bottom here or basically a word. You have also the uh, linear axis and the, the difference with the linear axis is basically this if I click here on the scatter linear has on the y-axis a number and on the x-axis a number as well but in our case I assume this but you can use both of them it doesn't matter because the structure what I'm going to give you is applicable to every every of these axes so it doesn't matter at all so the only thing what we need to do is here, if you go on Cartesian axis, we can scroll down here and what we need here, or basically what is called here is ticks. These are called ticks. Every tick value here goes up and down. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to scroll down here and look for the namespace first. It's the options, scales. And then you say here, scale ID. In your case, you said you want to have one adjusted on the Y axis. So this will be the Y scale all right and then here we look for ticks you can see here ticks and ticks is an object all right click on this for more and in here so basically you can see here already where we need to put it in option scales y dot tick all right and then here what we're going to use this is the magic word you're going to look for is scriptable is it scriptable in our case we're going to use a callback and a callback is a function so by default it is scriptable so you, there there's no value in here because it is by default a script because it's a function this is what we need 
and it's called callback. I highly recommend you to always search because sometimes it calls that they name it here as a or the namespace is callbacks with an S, and sometimes it is called callback without S. In this case, for the ticks, it is without the S. If you ask me why, I'm sorry, I cannot answer why they have that not consistent. There must be some reason by, behind it, but I, as of now, I don't know. All right, let's go here and now start to work on this. So basically, remember what I said here. We're going here on options, scales. We're going to pinpoint the Y axis and then ticks. So we are here in option, scales, Y axis. And then here we have the begin zero, comma. Then we say here ticks. All right, so in here, we're going to use the callback. That's what we want, and in the callback, we're going to give it a function. And this is the function we need. We're going to say here value. This is very important. The value is referring to what exactly? Well, basically, this here the x, sorry, the y axis values, these labels here. These labels are called ticks. So basically, the ticks that you have to create or that uh, ChartJS creates automatically is called is considered the value. So in here, I'm going to make this more easier by giving it a constant. And this constant, we will give it a um, value legend. I'll just give it like that. There's a capital L and it's an equal. All right, pay attention here. We're going to say this dot. And then what we need to do here is we say get label for value. And here, value. Meaning we're going to get the specific label, which is this one here, value. It's the name of value. All right, so that's it. So we're going to get that just to make sure. Once we have this, and if we would say now here, for example, uh, return, we want to return the value legend, value legend. And let's say we want to add up here also. So we concatenate, this is concatenation, letter K. We save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have concatenated, but of course this is not what you want because we need to remove this. And I have, well, I added on purpose bigger values here because it becomes very important now, especially this. You say here, well, wait a minute, zero K, that doesn't make sense. We should not even have a K on here. I agree. Here, this comma, we need to filter out. And here, we need to filter out commas as well. So let's do that first. So at least we know and understand how we can return a value plus adding anything between there. But now let's filter out the value. And to filter out, we're going to use the replace. I'm going to use replace all to remove all of these commas here and replace them with nothing, basically. So that will be just one single value here. So we say here, value legend. And this is the reason why I use the constant, because now we can start to use all these functions, because we will be using two more, basically two items. We're going to remove the commas, and after that, we need to cut it, or basically uh, trim is not the right term, it's a truncate. That's the right term. We're going to truncate it by removing certain values. All right. So we say here, value legend. And in value legend, we say replace. What are we going to replace? Well, basically, we're going to replace this. We need to put it in a string. What are we replacing? So quotations, because this is a string. And then we say we replace a comma. And then, pay attention, we put another comma here. Why? Because there's normally two values in here. And in the other one, we will just say here, quotations, or single quotations, nothing. Why? If you find a comma, then we're going to replace that with nothing. And I don't want to replace, I realize I need to do replace all because we have sometimes two commas, as you can see here. So if I save this now and refresh, oh, did it work? Let me double check this one more time. Uh, of course, it doesn't work yet. Why? Because we need to make sure we get this one here, put it in here. Move that, put a space here save that refresh all right so now we get this here and this works well here in the tooltip everything stays consistent but here we have it differently all right so that's the first one we could make it a constant as well we could say value trimmed or value replaced but that's all right for now well or it would be probably more smarter to be honest value legend uh I would just say REP for replace. All right. And this would be value let replace. If you would do this, everything same. All right. Now we did that. The next thing what we need to do is we need to uh, truncate it. Basically, you use here the substring function. So we say here constant value. 
and then I will just say here will be uh, legend str or trim or what is that trunk called trunk for truncated and then here we do the following we were going to grab this this value here and then we say here dot substring so or substring with this str and what are we going to do here well basically we're going to remove or sorry we're not going to move we want to only get these certain values here and here we have to later on use an if statement but let's do this for now you say here we want to show string number zero which is this one here starting point is here and then up till three so from three on we will cut it away all right so if i do this now and then i just copy this and replace this save that refresh all right so we're almost done here because now what happens here is we have the million here and the million is being ignored now we have this issue so what we can do here is we create an if statement so we're going to create an if statement and this if statement is basically based on the length that we have because what we can do here as well when this truncated i can just get this one here sorry the rep is that the truncated this is uh, the rep i need we say here dot length save that refresh you can see we have one six 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 seven all right this is the one we need so if we have one we should have maybe an if statement do not show return just the original value if we have six do a substring with this if we have seven do a substring with zero and then we add up another number here we want that four digits as you see because we're working with the k which is a thousand all right so you probably get now what we need now we have to just see here where are we going to do the if statement all right we're going to do the if statement here why we have here the replace value where we start to work on then we say here if all right so here we have to think what we're going to do if the uh this value we can do here dot length equals we can do equal strict in this case we can say return just this we don't need to do any any function or remove anything if i save this now you will see this here and let's say um well we can just maintain this one probably here but this will give an error so we have to just later on fix that oh well let's do here one way if statement first that will make more sense so we say here if this will be length of six if the length equals six and this is equal strict so three times so if that's six then we say the following we grab this Uh, we say this here or we can basically do this we don't even have to even give this a legend trunk we can just say here we say return the value of this all right and then another if statement if length is seven and we say here this will be four this can be all removed and what we need to do here is concatenate and let me say here concatenate plus it's a string remember k if you want to have space k can be as well you just do it like that if you want capital k like this small k anything you want doesn't matter here and then we do this one as well and now if we save this refresh there we are so now we have this one and i realize this here doesn't show any zero we turn the web value with place all well i can just say here i was expecting to show this so in this case we can just say here legend value i save this now and refresh no all right not expecting that this should not show here uh let's see if we can solve that one maybe it doesn't allow oh sorry of course length is not zero my my apologies here so let's go back here i can un I can just undo it the length of zero the length is one i'm thinking about the value of zero because it starts at zero but that's not but it's the length is one so if i refresh here there you are so that's why i didn't show because the length was not zero because the length is of course one because the number was zero all right so now we've got that 
this is exactly what you wanted adjust it with the labels here beautiful and of course as you go you can even increase this you can make another if statement if length would be 8 etc etc and if you would have smaller values here you have to just go down in the length if the length would be 5 for for 50,000 90,000 etc etc so this is the way to do it thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.